Hello everyone, this is Kevin the Switch Hippie here with another exciting episode of Groovy Old Record to Rescue from the Bargain Bin. <clears throat> uh, slim pickings this week in terms of picking. Uh, things that we can find in, in, the, in the bargain bin. Not all, nothing, nothing exciting, no, no, nothing with a big wow factor. But I'll just go through with it. Tell me what you think. Um, Judy Garland, um, her greatest hits. This is at Pickwick. This is a Pickwick reissue of the Capitol record. So um, I have not listened to it. I'm not a Judy Garland fan, but I'll give it a whirl. See what happens. It could be interesting. Um, and what year was that? I have that. That's from 1970. That album came out. But it's a reissue from Capitol from the 60s. So um, this next one, this, I was really disappointed. This is a disappointment for me. Uh, this is Rex Allen. I don't know if you guys remember Rex Allen. He used to narrate all those Disney documentaries. You know, it'd be like the story of a fox running around in the wilderness. You'd have some guy narrating in the back. That was Rex Allen. And he used to do all the cowboy and it's cowboy stuff and tell tales and sing stories. Uh, tell tales and sing songs about uh, the West. Like I said, he was a Disney guy. So I was really looking forward to this. I thought this would be really interesting to look at. Of course, when you open it up, right, it's it's not the records not in there. Shame on me, right? I, sh I should have checked. Me and I always check before I go, but I, I must have missed it this one. The actual album in here is, is How Along with Huckleberry Hound, right? And it is so, I mean, it's a kid's record. It is so scratched up beyond belief. I'm not even going to, I don't even think I'm going to even attempt to even try to, to put that on the stereo. My stereo, my, 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 my turntable would just barf so anyway this gets chucked into trash sorry sorry huckleberry hound and sorry rex allen you guys gotta go uh these are two ones i want to say my father had one of these maybe this one uh this is the two two record columbia a set uh remember how great just with hits that were on columbia records at the times so and these came out and i have this as 1961 so yeah, I remember this. So this one here is actually, this one's got more pop stuff. And this one's got that kind of more big band kind of stuff in it. Duke Ellington, Dinah Shore, um, sponsored by Lucky Cigarettes, right? So Lucky Cigarettes, you can listen to this and smoke your cigarettes and everything is good in the world. This one's not sponsored by Lucky Cigarettes. So I don't know what happened. Maybe, <laughs> maybe Lucky like, we don't want it anymore. Smoking's bad for you anyway, so. This is another really, this is a really good album. This is from 1960, Della Reese. I have a 45 here. This is a, um, it's a really good sounding record. The cover's kind of damp and, and moldy, but the album itself is, I know, RC and Victor sounds really good. And I'll put a cut below, and it's just kind of standard, you know, standard battles for 1960, you know, like Blue Skies and The Ladies of Tramp, that kind of stuff, but Della Reese. <clears throat> this one, I, this one I saw, I saw this one and I said to myself, this has got to be worth a gazillion dollars. This has to be worth a gazillion dollars. Well, it's not. <laughs> this is a John Travolta. Uh, this is from 1979. John Travolta, A Girl Like You, right? It's a 12 inch single. It's seven minutes. I, pu I put it on my feed if you want to look at it. And it's got the, the famous uh, Playgirl, the picture of John Travolta in there. It's a terrible record. I mean, it's, just, it's disco, right? So it's a disco record. So. I looked at online, maybe a buck, maybe maybe I paid what I pay a dollar ninety nine. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> I actually only paid a dollar for it. But um, this next one, this is a, a Bobby Sherman, right? Remember, he was big in the early seventies. All the girlies loved Bobby Sherman, and this is kind of one of these cool Bobby Sherman thingies. They fold out the gatefold, and it's got uh, all sorts of Bobby Sherman stuff. So if you're, you know. If you're about 15 or 16 in 1971, you know, this was your guy here, Bobby Sherman. Anyways, it's not an interesting record. None of his music for your interest. I think I put Easy Come, Easy Go down there, which was a big hit for him. And, you know, like, think about, you know, this is volume one of his greatest hits. There is a volume two, and I can't remember any of his songs that were hits except for that Easy Come, Easy Go. So that was, uh, you know, I mean, that's just one, one song, right? Um... Of course, Chet Atkins, right? This is a really good sounding record. Uh, mint condition. The record absolutely sounds brilliant. Mint condition. Um, as you see, I've been trying to get rid of the stickers, <laughs> the, the thrift store st stickers that they put on here. But anyways, great sounding. Who doesn't love Chet Atkins, right? Just just guitar. Put the put the record on. Do what you got to do in life, and just listen to it. it it's 
brilliant record, uh, Chet Atkins. Um, this one is, I, you know, this is Norma Douglas. I don't, I, 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 I listened to it earlier today. The record, I mean, the record's nice. It sounds nice. It's kind of that torch ballad kind of she's singing, you know, orchestra music with, you know, generic. It's, it's nothing great, I guess, which is probably why we don't hear much of her in the 21st century. But uh, anyways, that's it, uh, Miss Douglas. So I'll put a track of hers and you can see on the back. I've never heard of that unique record label. I never heard of them, but. And the last album, because I got 45s here, the last album is, th is this one, 123 Red Light by the 1910 Fruit Gum Company. They had, the, they had the Yummy, Yummy, Yummy. That's actually on this record, Yummy, Yummy, Yummy. And then they had another hit, um, Simon Says, um, it's Bubblegum, right? It's on Buddha Records. Do you see the Buddha Records? It's in absolute perfect condition. So either the person wasn't a big bubblegum fan or they really took care of this record. Um, but the reason I really got it was because it has Quinn the Eskimo on, right? The Mighty Quinn, right? Quinn the Eskimo, Mighty Quinn, the Bob Dylan song. I mean, I thought it was interesting to see how the one, two, three, or the 1910 Fruit Gum Company takes on Bob Dylan. And I, I was pretty good. It's a pretty good version. But, uh, and yeah, I did listen to Yummy, Yummy, Yummy when no one was watching, so. Anyway, uh, you know, they say that Yummy, 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 I've Got Love in My Tummy is the most annoying song ever written, so I would say yeah. But I did listen to it today, and hopefully it won't be stuck in my head for the, for the rest of the week. So anyway, here's some, I wanted to get some, uh, some of these 45s that I got, and then I'll leave you alone. You know, uh, B Barry Sadler, you know, remember Bar Barry Sadler had the, oh, is this thing stuck? They got these little sticky papers on them. Um, Barry Sandler was the, the Ballad of the Green Berets. And of course, our, the knuckleheads at, 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 at the thrift store, they don't seem to understand you. You really can't put a sticker there. <laughs> you can't put a sticker in the middle of the groove. But I'll try to clean it up my best to see if I can. But I'll, if not, we'll put the, the other side, which is Letter from Vietnam. So. Um, the next one here is, of course, is uh, uh, Simon and Garfunkel, Cecilia. What a great song. I, I, I thought it'd be interesting to listen to the 45, back with The Only Living Boy in New York. Um, this must be from their Bridge Over Trumpet Water, so that'd be 70 or whatever. Uh, great album. Um, this is another guy, Marvin Rainwater. I had never heard of him, but he was kind of a country, poppy singer. He's, I think he's an American, uh, Native American, American Indian. I think he is. Anyway, I put that one below. It's an interesting song. Um, this one, Peg of My Heart. <laughs> it's kind of orchestra with a orchestra with with a harp on it, right? It's not particularly interesting. There's some good sax on it. I'll put this one below. You can at least enjoy the saxophone. Uh, you know, this is Grazing in the Grass, right? Everybody, that's a big hit. Everybody knows that song, Grazing in the Grass by the Friends of Distinction. And uh, I put that below. That's a good song. It's a good kind of groovy song. Um, this is three o'clock in the morning. Um, Grady Martin and his Slewfoot Five is kind of a country band. And I forgot what year this was. This is, I should have written this down. This is the early 1960s. Uh, of course, Troglodyte, this is from 71, I think. Troglodyte, the, the Jimmy Castor Bunch is kind of a funk, kind of cool. It's a cool song. Troglodytes, caveman. Um, this one, I, I have no, I have no, I have, no, I, I, I need to research this guy, Paul Evans, and the one I put in here is Show Folk, which I think was a hit, right? I think that was a hit back in 56 or whatever. Show Folk, or no, no, I'm sorry, in early 60s, because you're actually making fun of the Beatles, so I, I don't know what year that is, but I put that one below. Show Folk by Paul Evans. Um, this is Roy Clark, uh, Spooky Movies. You know Roy Clark, the, the Spooky Movies, the, Roy, the country singer, and he had a hit called, um, Spooky movies. My baby loves the spooky movies. Um, this one, I, this one is Do Doyle Holly, and this is uh, "Take a Walk in the Country," and it's kind of an okay country song. But what I really wanted was the A side, which was "Queen of the Silver Dollar," which is the Shel Silverstein song, right? Look where they put the sticker. So anyways, I'm gonna have to figure that out, clean that up. I mean, it's so bad. Because the, the guys at the thrift store, they don't, they're young kids. They don't understand you. That's not where you put the sticker, right? They think you want to put, you don't want to put the sticker on the label. 
And then, of course, I've got uh, Webb Pierce, Sawmill. I haven't listened to this one yet, but Webb Pierce is always good if I could come back. So we'll have to put those on. Now, I do have a couple of rejects here. Well, let's look at the rejects, and then I'll let you guys go for the day. Um, first one is the Johnny Mann Singers, um, Love Me. Yeah, that's Elvis' song, right? Love Me. Um, and Don't, Unplayable. Unplayable, just the surface noise is so bad. Um, I'll see if I can clean it up again. I'll see what I can do to clean it up. Maybe not. Uh, Nat Stuckey and the Jordanaires. I thought this would be good too. Jordan, everything the Jordanaires do is good. I'll listen to them fart. I mean, they're just so they're just they're just great. Unplayable. Uh, Margie Singleton, Forget Me Not, backed with uh, I Don't Want You This Way. Unplayable. Just what's sad sadness. Sadness. I'll, I'll see if I can get another copy somewhere. Oh, this one really pissed me off. It just, it was Mama Spank, right? Just the title is enough to interest me. Mama Spank, Mama Spank doesn't play. Mama Spank is too noisy. It's Liz Anderson. It's a country song, right? Oh, and this one really, this one really pissed me off because I took it out of the, I took it out of the sleeve thing, right? Broken. Absolutely. Tennessee Saturday Night, backed with Ain't That a Shame by Pat Boone. This is from the early 50s, 50, 56, probably 55. Um, it is a shame. It's a shame that we'll never ever get to hear this record because it's going in the garbage in about two seconds. So, anyways, like I said, slim pickings today, guys. Hopefully, maybe after the Christmas holiday, we'll get a little bit more interesting material in the bargain bin. So, in the time, in the meantime, I'll keep looking. I'll keep looking, and you just keep enjoying the videos and, and, you know, comments. I love your comments, so send me comments and stuff like that. So, all right, guys, we'll see you later. Have a good one.